Greetings, viewers and voyeurs. Uh, recently, I did a video response to Freethinker3161 and his video, which was titled, What's in it for the Jews? And in my response, I made a few statements that were critical of the state of Israel. I was careful to put it in those terms, uh, both in the video and in the description box. However, I'm well aware that if you speak out in a criticism against Israel, it often occurs that someone will say that you're being anti-Semitic in so doing. And I was anticipating uh, such a response, and unfortunately, I got one. One of my viewers, uh, called Ms. Guy Fox, uh, made a video accusing me of being an anti-Semitic troll. All right, now, I personally feel that I'm being trolled with that kind of an accusation. However, it's such a serious accusation, I feel it really shouldn't be left unanswered. It's a common tactic <clears throat> to try to vilify your opponent um, in any disagreement. Uh, we all do it. It's not unique to any one person. It's not unique to ethnicities or genders or anything else. It's a human characteristic. So I'm not really surprised at the attempt to vilify my character with the accusation of anti-Semitism, when all I did was make some factual statements that were critical of Israel. <clears throat> um, the real irony is uh, the accusation against me of anti-Semitism, uh, had there been any substance to it, I promise you that I would have reflected on it, and if I felt that there was any merit to it, I would have said so. However, I've spent my entire adult life speaking out against arbitrary forms of discrimination, be it sexism or ageism or racism or anti-Semitism, homophobia, censorship, and all kinds of other stuff that uh, basically attempts to make human beings less than we should be. Uh, I don't agree with that on any level, and I think I have been consistent about that on my channel for its entire history. Um, and I don't think that there's any instance, not even in jest, that you can point to in any of my videos where I say anything derogatory about a human being based on their ethnicity. That's outrageous to accuse me of doing so when it's completely inconsistent with everything I've ever said and done. But let's get to the accusation. This is Ms. Guy Fox. Ms. Guy Fox is here. You see, when we're giving definitions to something, it's because we're trying to define the attitude. Uh, that's like if you're just don't like colored people around you, you're still a fucking racist. If you're just against the gay marriage, then you're still a fucking homophobe. If you only think that women are less evolved creatures than men, then you're still a fucking chauvinist pig. You can be partially racist, you can be partially homophobe, you can be partially fascist. Because you can be partially pregnant. Or partially dead. That's why when you describing some conflict with prejudice to one side, that makes you a fucking discriminative pig. And being discriminative pig to Jews still makes you a fucking stupid anti-Semitic fascistic factor. So quit playing the card I am not a nationalist but because after not a nationalist there is no but. Now the reason why are you being prejudiced to the Jews is the first phrase you said about Palestinian nation have a right to defend itself. Okay, so there's quite a bit to cover there. Um, first of all, I can deal with the last statement and the first statement all with the same response. Uh, you said there at the end that your reason for concluding that I'm anti-Semitic is because I support the right of Palestinians to defend themselves. The only way you could have got that statement from me is if you read the description to the video that you were responding to. And the sentence before that one was, I support Israel's right to defend itself. 
So at the beginning of that clip, when you accused me of picking sides, I supported Israel's right to defend itself. And then in the next sentence, I said, I also support the Palestinians' right to defend themselves. The sentence after that was, I support responsible moves towards the establishment of a Palestinian state with full autonomy and sovereignty. That's pretty much the official position of the United States and is in no way controversial, and it is certainly not anti-Semitic. I find it shocking, to say the least, that you would suggest that any human being in the world or group of human beings should be denied the right of self-defense. Self-defense isn't just a right. Many people would argue it is a moral duty. Um, now, that statement does not imply that I support terrorism. Of course I don't support terrorism. Nothing I've ever said could be construed otherwise. That's why in my description to the video, I said, I support responsible moves towards a Palestinian state. I don't understand how you or anybody could read that sentence and think that by responsible moves, I somehow supported terrorists. So, you know, you fail, dude. That's all there is to it. It's just one make massive fail. I... <laughs> If you're going to accuse me or anybody, frankly, of being anti-Semitic, you better have a good reason. You better have a real reason, some kind of evidence. Criticism of the state of Israel and its policies is not anti-Semitic. If it was anti-Semitic, how can it be that there are so many Jewish people who are in favor of a Palestinian state? who are in favor of equal rights for Palestinians. Um, <laughs> it can't be anti-Semitic uh, unless those people are anti-Semitic, those Jewish people who have that belief. And I know they're there. They're out there. So, you know, I, I fail again, man. I, you can't say that criticizing Israel is equivalent to criticizing Jewish people, especially when I went out of my way to make the distinction both in the video and in the description box to it. Um, so I think really, frankly, I know I'm not actually going to ask you for an apology, but I think you owe me one. I think that, uh, the accusation of being anti-Semitic is extremely serious and I don't take it lightly and I'm not going to let you play that card on me as if it's some way that you can, you know, some sort of magic button that you can press to get people to shut up just because they're saying things that you don't like. Sorry doesn't work that way. All right, there's one more clip I want to play because I got a few things to say about this as well. You could have discovered if you ever did at least a fucking 15 minutes fucking research, which you didn't, because from the beginning you were set to hate Jews. And don't fucking tell me that you were only hating Israel, okay? I do not hate a single human being, much less a group of human beings. And there's no evidence to the contrary. You can't point to any video that I've ever made that is hateful towards any group of human beings. There's nothing you can ever hear me say. Because I don't talk like that. Because that's not who I am, that's not how I am. And such an accusation, to me, is quite outrageous. And then you go on to say, don't say that you're just, you know, hating on Israel. Dude, I didn't say anything about hating Israel. I was criticizing Israel and its policies. Criticism is not hatred. Criticism is not persecution. Okay? Try to understand the difference. That's a question to you. What's in it for you? For protecting ultra-religious factors? since you're pretending so, pretending so much to be atheist, though you'll protect Casadilla as well, in protecting people who, as I also said, would, if seen you, in a best case, in a fucking best case, stone you to your fucking death. You ask what's in it for me? Well, my right to speak my opinion is in it for me, for a start. And I think that the anti-Semitic card gets wielded way too often to try to shut people up when they're critical of Israel. Um, I am 
lots of things I could say that uh, I criticize Israel for, but generally speaking, I don't. And I don't say them not because I'm afraid of the anti-Semitism card, but because I don't want to be grouped with actual anti-Semites. I don't want them thinking that I'm their buddy because I'm not. So, <laughs> you know, uh, y if you're going to call someone, anyone, me or anyone, an anti-Semite, you better have better evidence of what you had right there. Criticizing Israel by itself is not anti-Semitic, and there's nothing I've ever said that you can point to which would lead anyone to believe that I am. So, frankly, you can spin. Okay? This has got that funk. Sorry for putting everybody through this. Until next time, people, may all your ups and downs be ups.